welcome back to my channel. I know my hair is a mess right now. But anyways, welcome back. Um, on today's video, it's definitely going to be a tutorial. I know I am so excited because one, I haven't uploaded a tutorial for a while already. And two, Valentine is right around the corner. And I was so excited. I was so undecisive. I didn't know what video I should have done. I was like, um, should I have done a skincare routine or a... Um, my January favorites which will be coming up soon um, I wasn't sure but then like I checked my calendar and then I'm like oh my god Valentine's is in two weeks so I'm just like girl we need to create a look like this so I decided to create a look and I decided to just use one palette um, the palette that I decided to use today is the think pink palette and this is from Coastal Scents and I love this palette. This is like a to-go palette. What I love about it is that it's, it has 12 interchangeable eyeshadow colors and I'll just show you right now. So be careful with um, with the shadows. Don't like bang on it because it tends to fall and they are magnets so they would fall. But um, so this is how they look. They are 12 colors, 12 eyeshadows and you could take them out like I'll just show you right now I don't get can do it on screen let me just take it out with my hand okay so this is one of them that I'll be using but you see what I mean like you could get them out the magnet is behind this and behind this little thing right here you know you can see it so you could just pop it right back in like that and that's it I am covering the mirror because I don't want to blind you. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm going to be using this row right here. And I'm going to start off from my left to my right. So that should be, I guess, your right to your left. I don't know. Um, I'll be using those right here. Those four. I'll be using these two on the, at the end. And of course this one for my brow bone. So if you want to learn how to achieve this look and get this beautiful look from just one palette and this is from Coastal Scents. You can purchase this at CoastalScents.com then please keep on watching. Hey guys, I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids like always using my e.l.f. primer and I will be applying this on my lid and under my waterline. shadows that you see me pointing at I'll be applying these on my lids but the first one that I will be grabbing and I'll be applying on my eyelid is the baby pink on my lid just so it can give it that more darker pinky shade.
I will be applying this cinnabar rose color and I will be applying this on the outer corner of my eye going up towards my crease and then we'll be moving that all the way close to like my inner corner of my eye don't worry you don't have to be precise on this because later on you'll be going over a makeup remover wipe and you'll be wiping the excessive makeup or any makeup that you don't want on your lid now i will be using this magenta color that's the fourth color of the bottom line that I've showed you before but I will be using this and I'll be applying this on my crease and going into my inner corner of my eye reapplying this rosy pink color I used before and I'll be applying this on my lid just in case anything blended out now I will start grabbing my blending brush I will start blending everything out just in case there is any harsh lines with the same blending brush, I will be reapplying this cinnabar rose that I used before and I will be blending it out on my crease. Again, one more time, I will be reapplying the rosy pink color just in case anything blended out. I will go ahead and start using this light pink color on the inner corner of my eye. Now I will be applying this dark pink color and the uh, color coral rose and I'll be applying this on my lid just so it can give it that more of a pop color. Now we will start blending away. Now I will be using this white silver color and I'll be applying this on my brow bone just so I can give it that highlight. Now grabbing my blending brush I will start blending anything away just in case there's any harsh lines. a facial wipe we will start cleaning out all the makeup that you don't want to show or you don't want it to be there we will go ahead and grab that blending brush one more time and blend anything out just in case there's any harsh lines once we're done I will be reapplying the rosy pink color onto my inner corner of my lid just in case it blended out done I will be applying eyeliner foundation on just so the look can be finished and retouched so give me a second guys voila now that the look is finished you can go ahead and start taking selfies if you would like to but I oh, the only thing I just added was an eyeliner falsies and of course the usual foundation and decided to just put on and throw on a lipstick on from Milani in the shade Teddy Bear. Now that you guys 
have seen how to achieve this beautiful strawberry plum look that I decided to call um, you can go ahead and do it on your own again you could just use whatever palette you want it doesn't have to be this palette but I just decided to just use one palette you could go ahead and choose whatever color you want thank you guys for watching this video so if you would like to see more of these Valentine's Day look like more like more popping out colors more smoky colors or like you know just let me let me know down below I am going to read every comment of course and I will have your idea on my list as well but other than that I hope you guys really liked it and I really hope you achieve it and if you do achieve it please don't forget to tag me on any social media that I will be listing down below for my Instagram and my Twitter don't forget to um, tag me on them it, this, it's just a beautiful look I just love it um, <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already do so and other than that I hope you guys really enjoyed this look I know I did I actually had fun creating this look because pink is my favorite color but anyways enough with the chit chat enough with the blabbering enough with me talking so much um, I'll see you to the next time